is an open relationship for you. Numerous people have found success in open partnerships, which may take many forms. Important points. Communication skills and the ability to deal with jealously are among the skills that open relationships participants have. Open partnerships are attractive to individuals who are looking for newness and excitement in their life. Open relationships may take numerous forms, but the parameters must be properly laid out before the relationship can begin. All kinds of misconceptions have been made regarding open relationships, such as the fact that at least one member of an open pair must be bisexual, or that the participants of such a relationship are all kinky or unable to be loyal, or are reckless. I'm sure there are a few more that you can think of. None of these may be true. There is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all connection between two individuals. Some are joyful, some tense, others bored, and yet others enthralled. What's to say that a partnership involving more than two persons isn't open to all kinds of arrangements? Many different types of open relationships exist. A woman or a man in a committed relationship is free to date many people. One of them may have a special someone while the other does not. It's possible that one or both of them have a sexual relationship, but they both promise that they won't ruin the relationship by falling in love, as if one could ensure that. A steady pod of one or more people outside of the couple is a common kind of open relationship. The outsider may be friends with both members of the relationship, or he or she may even have sex with both or simply one of them. Those who are in open partnerships are often drawn to fresh experiences and stimulation. Some individuals take comfort in the familiarity of their daily routines. People who eat cornflakes, coffee, and toast for breakfast every day are likely to be the most contented in monogamy, according to this kind of person. Then some want new experiences, challenges, and surprises, and find themselves bored in life without them. They could have birthday cake for breakfast on Monday and roast meat for lunch on Tuesday. In other words, a comfortable, routine life is not what they seek. How likely is it that one of these people would initiate or even consider an open relationship if the opportunity arises? Good communication and trustworthiness are essential if you want to succeed. For an open relationship to succeed, both parties must be trustworthy. A healthy open relationship is not about cheating, but rather about building trust and establishing clear rules about who can and cannot do what with whom. Open relationships, like monogamous ones, rely on faithfulness in the same way as monogamous ones do. The framework may include a sentence stating, only with our friends, or not with any of our friends. Sex with women is permitted, but only when one is on a business trip or during a play party when both of the couple's partners are present. Any arrangement the couple agrees to may work, or work for a time until it doesn't, or until it stops working for one of the pair. The qualities in people I have seen in working open relationships are a strong sense of self and what they want in a relationship, excellent communication skills, a willingness to be vulnerable, not naturally possessive or envious, though jealousy can always rear its head in the most phlegmatic of people. Clarify your goals before starting an open relationship. Your current or potential partner should be aware of your desire for an open arrangement and the boundaries of sex outside the main partnership if this is something that interests you. Do you want to discuss the facts of your outside sex or emotional life, or would you prefer not to know your partners? May each of you spend the night elsewhere, 
and will any outside partner be presented to the family? Are some of the fundamental questions that are asked are critical issues to resolve in advance. Sadly, they often don't surface until one of the partners is in pain. Take things gradually if you or your spouse are new to open relationships. See how each other is doing regularly. Observe your reactions to any feelings of envy or insecurity that may come up between you. Find out whether this unique arrangement may help you to get more intimately acquainted with one another. Surprisingly, it does this rather often. If you enjoyed watching this video, please share it with your friends, and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time, stay safe and awesome.